You'll leave me a hug before we start. <laughs> yes. Bring it in. Okay. We'll get through this intro together. Seven different types of cheese, yo. Four breads. Grilled cheese day. Are you ready for it? Hello and welcome back to Chefs at Home, a show where a couple people from the industry are here to show you how we eat, uh, how to take advantage of your own home kitchen, and to just make it a little bit more fun for yourself. Uh, today is Grilled Cheese Experiment Day, and we got Gil back. Yes, thank you for having me. Welcome back, Gil. And today, Stephanie is going to be here with us as well, and the goal is to make everybody's favorite grilled cheese. We're just going to play around. We got like seven different types of cheese, three different types of bread that we bought, and we even made a couple of our own loaves of bread. Look at these. They are gorgeous. Gil's put together some clarified butter for us, and a couple of other fun things. And yeah, let's just hop right into it, make some grilled cheeses, and experiment. So Gil, why don't you tell us what you brought for us today? I went ahead and got the, uh, the medium cheddar. Uh, I went with medium cheddar also, in fact, yeah. so we'll be able to taste the difference between the two brands. And then I went and got some soccer cheese like mozzarella and Munster and Gordy. Yeah. Steph, get in on this cheese. I know you want some. Ready. Why don't we go on? We got two types of Havarti here today as oh. well. Yeah, so that Havarti is like like fresh cream almost. Yeah. It's uh, got more steaming. Yeah. Wet in the middle. Oh yeah. Um, oh that's good. Most of the Havartis I've ever had are mixed with something else, like a dill Havarti, mm -hmm. or I think at the grocery store I saw a horseradish Havarti, a chili Havarti, yeah. exactly. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Right up front, like kind of floral. Oh yeah, much more in your face. It's super different. Havarti research. Havarti. Havarti. History of Havarti. So as she looks up the Havarti, <laughs> let's try a couple of our other cheeses. We just have some basic mozzarella here. That pool too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this, this is the cheese that I got for melting. So this, I don't know if you, do you know what raclette is? What is it? Raclette. Raclette, no. So raclette is both this cheese and a type of cooking, like a party cooking mm -hmm. method, and I think it's either Swiss or French. You can think of it as like individual servings of fondue. There's a big thing with a heating element underneath and then little um, plates that you get. You put your cheese on the plate, put it underneath the heating element and it melts. And then on top of the plate, a hot plate or something, okay. and you put like mushrooms, potatoes, pieces of bread, asparagus, right. stuff like that there. You saute it really quick, and then as the cheese melts, pull that off, pour the cheese on top, and it's like a small party bites thing. Wow, oh, that sounds very gluttonous. It's super gluttonous, super good. It's, done that it's equivalent to fondue, essentially. Yeah. But this is the cheese that is made specifically for that, and it's called raclette. So that's, the cheese is the same name as the... The, 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 as the procedure. The procedure, or, yeah. Okay. So this is one of my favorite cheeses of all time. Oh my goodness. Really? Especially for melting. It's Do you have, have a favorite cheese? Um, yes. What is, what's the... I saw... It. <sighs> so it's that knows. orange parmesan, essentially. Um, Mumolet. I really like, as far as cheddars go, uh, Cabo. Cabo cheddar. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very crystallized, you know. It has yeah, like especially their, their super sharps and their white cheddar. Yeah. The Cabo white cheddar is really yeah. good. So, the last cheese we got today, a little bit of pepper jack. Everybody is familiar with this one. So, we're going to talk about what breads we got in today for our experimentation and pleasure. We got some sourdough loaf, a little brioche loaf, pre-sliced, nice and thick, so that way they keep together. And a little bit of challah bread. So challah is going to be similar to brioche, just instead of using butter, it uses eggs as the enriching. This is what's commonly known as the best French toast bread. Is it Eggy. almost like Hawaiian bread? Yeah, it's you it's like, like Israeli it? Hawaiian bread. Okay. Yeah, if you look at the spelling on that, like challah. Challah. The last bread of the day, we got our homemade loaf. These came out really nice. Yeah. And actually, why don't we go ahead and finally cut into this one right here. Wow. 
Awesome. So this just came out of the That's oven. Incredible. Maybe I wish you can get an up close an hour ago. You, you probably can. Right? Yeah, we can totally do that. You wanna stop filming and bring it mm -hmm. in? Oh, look at that! Nice and even. Oh man, maybe a touch dense, but that's just because it's naturally leavened. And it's whole wheat. That and it's whole wheat. Wow, that. Look at that. That, that looks incredible. awesome. Yeah. That's gonna make some great grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. You know, as I eat, like I really feel kind of like um, I should be eating a grilled cheese sandwich, right? Nice. Well, I'm so hungry now. Let's go into that. On that, why don't you start us off and show everybody how you make your I, you perfect know, grilled cheese sandwich? I kind of wanted you to start. First. You want me to start? Yeah, first? absolutely. All right, I can do that. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Why not? Let's do it. Let's just go hard, make tons of grilled cheese sandwiches. Right. I'm so, hungry. I'm going to start with my homemade bread. This one was pretty nutty bread. It could use, I think it's gonna be a good Munster cheese bread. So we got our Munster. I'm gonna grab some of this Tillamook. We're gonna give it just a half slice of this mozzarella for that pull. There's another thing, like, what do you feel about cheese to bread ratio? See, uh, that was going to be the other thing. Was I've Every time I make a grilled cheese and I add more cheese than this, I feel like I have way, way too, too much. much, and I'm just, like, eating yeah. a mouthful of cheese every <laughs> bite. I'm a big fan of mozzarella sticks, but, like, I'm not going to eat that in a grilled yeah, cheese sandwich. Yeah, right. My favorite, my favorite description of mozzarella sticks is, like, go eat. 10 pieces of string cheese like in one sitting and everybody's gonna be like ew no that's gross and be like okay now go add tomato sauce bread them deep fry them call it mozzarella sticks and go eat 10 in one sitting mm -hmm. it's the exact same in fact it's worse and everybody is like down to do it instantly mm. right. speaking of i haven't had mozzo sticks in a long time sandwich number one assemble one now let's do our next sourdough sandwich so so this one's gonna be a pepper jack with Vardy. I'm gonna use your cheddar on this one. So got, who's coming over today? I'm gonna do on that. It's just you. Huh? <laughs> no, there's gotta be other people that like. This, I... this is way too much bread and cheese for three people. <laughs> you know oh, it's not. I need to get my phone and call <laughs> Celeste. She's at work, but you know what? 4:30s around the corner, and she needs to eat. We're going. Holla. So I'm gonna get myself two nice slices of this. Look kind of how fluffy yeah, look it at the is. fluffy holla. It's so pretty. Yeah, yeah this one's oh, gonna shit. get some fun. Now, now you leave the rind on? No, I take no? the rind off. What? Um, I have no idea. All right, so some of the raclette, and then yeah, keep it soft. And this is gonna be a, a grilled cheese blanco. Boom. All right, next grilled cheese done. Our last bread, our brioche. This one's going to be... The yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like, on appearance, it's going to look like that cute, like, Kraft American grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. But then it's going to, like, actually be delicious for the first time. We're going <laughs> to double cheddar on this. Oh, one. that's that's awesome. That's a great idea. Oh, yeah. There's my lineup. I need those reinforcements. Are be, those are gonna be I'm telling you, we need more people. So this is you're gonna start out with the homemade bread also. Show yeah. us what you got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put them all together. Look at that lineup, and then we're gonna get all of them cooked off. We're gonna do another taste test. Yes. Gosh, it's gonna be insane. All right, what cheeses are you adding, Joe? All right. Gil? So as to not repeat what we just did, you know, I am gonna go mozzarella. I like it. A grilled cheese sandwich that's like just sloppy. And I'm gonna go These ahead gonna and be use nice. some of your cheddar. Go one, two, three, bam. Oh yeah. Mm. Simple. That one looks good. Yeah. Brioche. Now because of the sweetness of this, I'm also gonna go sharp on this. Oh, the brioche with the pepper jack. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sweet and spicy, huh? And then I'm gonna use the regular cheddar. See, I I like to have it, you know. Yep. Kind of just dangle it off a little bit so that you get those melty bits, create that crust yeah. around the edge. So we got the chala. I'm gonna go with the Munster. And we'll also go Havarti. 
Hey, do you guys want to make this into a cheese competition? So after we make, all three of us make our four sandwiches and we cook them off? No, I am so not making sandwiches. Not with how much you guys already have. And I'm going to judge. So after you make your I'm sandwiches, judging. you're going <laughs> to no. eat the sandwiches with us and we're going to do a breakdown and judge who made the best grilled cheese and what's the best grilled cheese out of the eight to 12 that sandwiches that we have. Great idea. We can do a sit down and eat taste test and that yeah. way we have a goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the rind on this. Oh, right. oh, you're gonna because go with rind. I am brave like that. Yes, yes. I like it. I think they so. said it was a cider washed cheese. Really? Yeah, I was super interested on like just what a cider washed process was. Okay. I know uh, like brine washed and just a washed cheese rind, but I've never heard of cider washed before. Sourdough is what's left, right? Uh, yeah. Man, you're, you're looking. Objectively, way better than mine. <laughs> Still very simple on this. This is the the Havarti that you got from Whole Foods. Bristol Farms. Bristol Farms. Yeah. That place is so expensive. Oh my god, dude! Like just for <laughs> cheese and bread, it was a forty dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, right. It was so, so expensive. expensive. And we're going with cheddar. There's so many selections of bread in Los Angeles that it's like. Oh, I know. I looked like, up the Eater article the other day on huh? best breads in LA. What'd you find? Absolutely everything around the city, like yeah. bread lounge, bread lounge bread. tartine. Yeah. Um, what's the Bon Temps, Republic, um, Lodge. Re Lodge. Juista. Uh, yep, Justa. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so we got our sandwiches. Hey you, over there, yeah. working on her toppings. It's your turn! My toppings. It's your turn to put together a <laughs> sandwich or two. Four sandwiches! The three of us are We don't have to, to eat four sandwiches for taste test purposes. Come over here and make something. So while she's over here trying to avoid making a sandwich, she's making toppings for her sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making, Stuff I'm contributing. More like competing, this is a competition. Thinner slice? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to be different, guys. All right, thin slice hollow. We'll go different. We'll see what happens. We can't all just be thick like you guys. Wow. Wow. What does that mean? Uh, da 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 da. <laughs> I think she was referring to our thick-headedness. Yeah, that's thick. that's what I'm hoping she meant. Smaller bites, guys. Okay. You, you twisted you my arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. All right. Look at that. She has all of her bread out first. And then she's going to lay them all out yeah. and she's going to make each sandwich and then have them all ready like in like half the time we did. Like a real life chef. Right? Like, a, like an efficient <laughs> sandwich maker. It's like yeah. she's worked a sandwich station before. <laughs> yeah. It's like I've made 800 sandwiches in less than two hours before. You know the great thing about grilled cheese? With superpowers afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Well, um, I, I like the sweet, nutty wheat and the super funky, salty, like, raclette? cheese. Yeah, raclette. Yeah. But I'm going to say bye to the rind. I like the look of this monster. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to taste it. Yeah. I want the cheese crispifying off the edges. I'm gonna let that happen. And then I think I'm I'm happy with that. And then the sourdough. Oh these onions. So are far four mm -hmm. eight nine ten plus two more. That's twelve. And there's only Ha! Ah, there's three of us. <laughs> Look at that, that was cool. Flip back. Beautiful. She went with the cheddar and the sourdough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Classic. Thing to destroy it more. Beautiful. She's fine like that. Then the sweet baby's gonna go with the murder no dumper. Okay, maybe The murder no dumper. Yeah. Did those you are, do hollow with white bread? Those are my or sandwiches. Uh, Alright, now we are on to the baking process, right? Right? Oh, yes. Or the toasting process? Oh, yeah. Dope. So how do we want to do this? Do three types of bread at a time and just... We'll do one plate at a time. 
Just do yeah. one, everybody's plate yeah. once at a time? So that we don't get them mixed up. I like that. Three, two, one. Put them in. Get them out of butter. And they'll be ready in a couple minutes. Pulled the first two out. Those are looking real good. We got our next two in. Ready with those in just a second. And we'll all have our first taste test. Oh yeah, you can see perfect toast on the first side. Like, what, what even is that? Rustic. And we're just waiting for that second side and our cheese to finish melting up. You can see it right there. Oh, oh god. Oh, grilled cheese round one! All right, I'm looking forward to these. So we have homemade bread, sourdough bread, challah bread, and our brioche bread down in order. I think why don't we start with the homemade. That's the one that everybody's kind of drooling, looking, looking at. Try to grab a slice. So this one was, I can't even remember what cheeses we put in here. Uh, this one was the cheddar and... We should have wrote them down. Yeah, we really should have wrote them down. Oh, it's definitely some of the Tillamook cheddar. Not a good pull to it. Oh, that's good. This is incredible. That's a mm -hmm. good bread. Next one. So this is classic sourdough. This one is just mozzarella and cheddar. Uh, the other one was the Havarti and cheddar. Should be a little bit less complex in flavor. Yeah, smaller pieces. Yeah, we're gonna Thank eat you. a lot of this. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm gonna die from this. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He had a grilled cheese overdose. <laughs> <laughs> there are worse ways to go. You know what? It smells super complex. Oh, this one's pepper jack. Yeah. Oh, this one's good. Hit me with that. Mm -hmm. things go. The sour, and then you add that mm -hmm. fresh acid on top. Gills homemade. That's also semi sweet. Red pickles. Oh, red, red onion pickle. Mm. Oh, mm. that good? You taste the bay leaf? Holy shit. Mm -hmm. You taste it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shit. If you were to buy something, that would be the one that I would buy in the store. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. argument there. All right, next up Hala grilled cheese. This one, the bread softens up a lot more, so it seems like there's just a lot bigger hunk of cheese in the middle. Mm. But that raclette mm -hmm. on there, whoa. It almost melts down into whole cream. It's runny, it's and nice. It's, it's, it's kind of complex. It does have like that beginning taste, that middle taste, and mm -hmm. it does have like an aftertaste. Like right now I'm tasting the aftertaste. It's really good. Like... Oh, and this is my classic Americana sandwich. This oh is God. cheddar on cheddar. So my only issue with the brioche is that it seemed even, I had that pan at really low heat, and even then, like it toasted too quick to melt the inside cheese. Oh. But it's, it's hot, and it's semi-stringy, but it's not fully melted before the bread actually is gonna start burning. I'm not a big fan of the brioche. Right? It's a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just kinda there. Yeah, it feels like yeah. it feels like sweet air surrounding yeah. the cheese. Like the challah, at least had a little more texture, a little more character to the bread. This one tastes like a five-year-old's grilled cheese. Yeah, 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 pretty much. So that's our first round. It's not really a competition between the bread, the, the 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 what was on here currently. <laughs> it's gonna be a competition between each three. So that's round one. So Gil, why don't you get on your grilled right. cheese next? We'll do. And then we'll uh, get on that taste. Cavalry has arrived to help us eat 12 grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh my gosh, it is a grilled cheese factory. Here, eat these. Tell us what you think. Gil's making round two, right? Now. You you are both also being contracted as judges. It's your job to tell us who has the best grilled cheese. So everybody's eating every sandwich. You two are our main judges, head judges here. Sourdough. We have the house made wheat, right? Uh, we have the chala or the hala, and then we have our brioche right here. Nice. And just like you, I totally forgot what cheeses I put into it. So as we go through <laughs> them, we're gonna kind of find out what we did. So let's go ahead and I start with it. the sourdough. Oh, and yeah. This is literally a kitchen. Oh yeah, very first time. Welcome to Stephanie and cooks. Celeste over there. And yeah. talent. No. More people from our restaurant. <laughs> Stephanie works from the house. Celeste Stephanie's helps the out. Other Stephanie here make all the pasta. 
Yeah. Pasta team. All right, you guys, go ahead. Do it again. Yes. That was perfectly crispy. Now, do you think you know what the cheese is in this one? I think it's some mozzarella and cheddar. Yeah, I'm going to go with yeah. and cheddar. God, those pickled onions are so good on grilled cheese. All right, you guys, second one. This was your bread, the bread, bread that you guys made. I really like the fact that the cheese is kind of oozing out on this, and you can see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like for it. Right there. All right, you guys, go ahead. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh the cool that we Ooh. There's a point where I'm, I might get, like, cheese nauseous, but in a good way. Can you yeah, she vomits oh, with yeah, a sir. smile on her face, just like, Bleh. I love how it's just, in general, all thick. She mm -hmm. thick. I can only do, like, She's half. so thick, guys. It's kind of black. <coughs> right? do, am I wrong? Maybe it's because the bread is so thick. I think, mm -hmm. yeah. You have to figure out that bread and cheese ratio thing. We are going to do the challah, which is the, is this the Jewish bread? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to like uh, that one. This one's very soft. It's, mm -hmm. it's incredible how good this bread is with I'm really cheese. I'm really stoked on that one. All right, you guys, go ahead. Can you oh, see it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There is food porn right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That oh, bread that part is strong. That's good. Mm. It is. This one might be my favorite. That one's part. like pretty s simple, but there's a lot going on mm. there. There is, right? Mm. That one was perfectly ooey gooey. I think I might die after today. No, <laughs> please don't. What At least give us your recipe. It you was so it? good. Yeah. He was like, we're going to need help. Seriously, call <laughs> for help. Eating all the grilled no, cheese. It's like, yeah, we're, really like half, we're not even halfway through this, and no. we're like, we're almost dead. I know that yeah. you guys are probably feeling the same way yeah. that I feel right now, which is like, we're like, whoa. <laughs> All right, the last one's the uh, brioche, and um, I still have some in my teeth. This is gonna go on YouTube, and I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on it. <laughs> it's gonna look great. This is the brioche. I'm excited for your brioche because mine was super like. Blah, blah, yeah. This is the pepper jack. Ooh, I see oh it. my Maybe god, the pepper yes. Pepper. I love pepper jack. So the combination mm -hmm. of the pepper oh jack god. with the brioche is actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So short of that, I'm ready to write this fucking bread off. My first one was just the cheddar cheddar. It was like a five-year-old sandwich. It was super boring. I have mixed feelings about it. I I'm not for it. this. Sweet. I'm not for the sweet part. Just the sweet part. Right, the bread's a little too sweet. I didn't know where the sweet part came from. Mm -hmm. I called it an Uncrustables grilled cheese. Stephanie, Which it's one? your turn. It is your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got four sandwiches to make in two minutes. Have a very orange <laughs> way. So we have, we're telling you, there's, you guys each made four different sandwiches. No. So we're eating 12 different sandwiches. Yes. That, from exactly. three different individuals. Yes. That make four each. Yes. Right. Thank you for showing up. Yeah. Like, was... We would have been rolling out of here as blueberries. Yeah. That's round two, and we will be back for round three. We will be back. Boom! We're back after that three second break. Hello, it's Stephanie Lowe. Look how fast you toasted your grilled cheese. That's amazing. So, uh, did you remember what cheeses you put in there? Or did you forget uh, this like the rest of us? We're going to have to taste test our way through. Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen. This is clearly going to be the sourdough. Like I went for. I love this one. Right? I think I went for Tillamook okay. cheddar. I'll just with touch this. them all. Yeah, this one looks like Tillamook cheddar. Tillamook and cheddar with sourdough and. Oh, I see pepper bits. That's a pepper jack yeah. in there. Pepper jack and cheddar. I put oh a lot of God. fat. Please zoom into this. This I went, one's really look good. Look at that. I went for straight butter. Mm -hmm. I went this for. One's, this one's really good. I feel like this is like a classic grilled cheese. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with this. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked for grilled cheese, that's what I would expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not what I would get, but I would expect. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's made with the homemade bread? Mm -hmm. Dude, dope. And you went with thinner slices on this. This one looks nice. Yeah, I wanted the bread to be a little thinner for sure. Okay, so step <laughs> This one really does. This yeah. one's really wow. good. This one's great this also. This is the second one that's like really good. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? No, this one's got the, the raclette in there. Well, like either, I think the mozzarella because it's got so much pulp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The oh, no, not mozzarella. With, uh, you see the outline of that cheese? Oh, Munster. Munster. Okay. Munster and Roquette. I'm going to go for the challah bread next. Challah. Can we start this off? Like, uh, we're, You're we're doing great. Like you like were we, yelling at us. We Sound were. Hungry. We were there you go. Uh, that one. <clears throat> Typically in a competition, it'd be like one. 
one sample of each person, but you gotta make four for each person, so it'll be a little harder. But mm -hmm. this one's a little more simple for me, though. I think I like the our hollows with the the red clet in there. Is that they're all balanced? They are. You're right. Are very, all the cheeses all are matching. Are very balanced. Mm -hmm. They're all really good. I don't even know if I want to put you through this one. This brioche is not our favorite today. Look at this. This cheese didn't even melt all the oh, way. It did. It did. Trust me. <laughs> we'll find out. No. All right, come on. It's okay. It's oh, all right. Come on. Don't think about it. So a little cheddar and a little Havarti. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big fan of the bread. It's too sweet for me. That's the biggest issue with this. It's just sweet bread. This sweet bread is disqualified. Instantly. No. Yeah, no, you <laughs> used the pepper jack in yours, that's right. Yours was pretty dang good with the with the, with the brioche, and that's the only way I would have it. So I won on the brioche. Yeah. Okay. So definitely Gil's brioche is easily the best. Okay. Steph, your homemade bread and your, <laughs> yeah, all the, the first two, the sourdough and the homemade bread. Sourdough and homemade were, were the really, really good. All right. Yeah. And I get too so exotic. That you the, uh, and then I like the, my haul of the chocolate. The, the chala. Chala. <laughs> chala. Chala for the chala. Uh, my hala bread with the raclette cheese and the the uh, Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cheeses going on. It's hard There's to not enough everything. water to really, like, wash it down. We did so many variants of grilled cheese. If you can't figure out a variant of grilled cheese that you liked within what we did today, I don't have an answer for you. So, guest judges, what do you think? Oh, what were your favorites? I think I'm gonna have to give it to Steph. Like, yeah. the first Overall, two. Overall, I liked better, the yes. homemade yeah. bread with, yeah, the white cheese. Like, it was just clean and I feel like clean everybody and, like, her alone, too. Mm -hmm. Like, she was in here by herself, so I should probably sprinkle some crack on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> she could have cheated. Thank you for a uh, epic grilled cheese experience and tasting and competition. Thank you for joining us and helping us eat yes. and just not killing ourselves in cheese. We have a lot of extra sandwiches still, so we're going to figure out what to do with those and start cleaning up our kitchen <sighs> and figuring out our next next and exercise. Nap time. Food yeah, some nap time probably. I'm going to be in a coma. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Like, subscribe the video, all that good stuff. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Uh. Burke.